Hello guys. So now we shall be discussing regarding the anatomy of the cervix. Okay. Now where is the cervix located? Cervix is located in the lower portion of the uterus. Cervix is located in the lower portion of the uterus. If you look at the cervix in this uh, model over here, can you find the cervix over here? You cannot find the cervix over here. So what I will do is that I will remove the urinary system over here. I will also remove uh, what to say the digestive system over here. So that let us try uh, finding the cervix over here. So where is the cervix located? Inside you have got a small way here opening called as cervix. You see that? That is called as cervix. Now if I wanted to look at the cervix, I will remove all the parts one by one. Now if I remove the vagina over here, this part is called as cervix, right? So this is the vagina over here, all of you know, right? So where is the cervix located? If I remove the vagina, right? Inside here you have this small opening, you see? This is called as your cervix, okay? So if you look at the picture of the cervix, this is this uh, tube with the blue color here is called as your cervix, okay? So what is this cervix doing? Cervix is this part. See this part is called as your cervix. It is connecting what it is connecting the vagina with the main body of the uterus. Okay. So this part is the uterus. This part is the vagina. So it is convert. This is the cervix that is connecting the vagina with the main body of the uterus. It connects vagina with main body of uterus with the main body of uterus now when you look at the cervix now when you look at the cervix there are two important types here one is called as the ecto cervix another one is called as the endo cervix okay one cervix is called as the ecto cervix another one is called as the endo cervix one is called as the ecto cervix another one is called as the endo cervix right now, if you look at the ecto cervix over here, if you look at the ecto cervix over here, what you need to know here, see this part over here is called ecto cervix. You see this part of the cervix is called as your ecto cervix. Okay. Then where is endo cervix? See this part is called as endo cervix or endo cervical canal. Now, ecto cervix is the one which is projecting into the vagina. See. This is the ecto cervix and it is projecting inside the vagina, right? So ecto cervix is the one which ecto cervix is the one which projects into the vagina, right? Next important thing. Next important thing over here is this ecto cervix is lined by an epithelium called as stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium, lined by stratified. Squamous non keratinized epithelium lined by stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. Opening into the ecto cervix is the external os. You see, this is called as external os, this is called as internal os. So, opening into the ecto cervix, what is there? We have got external os. Opening into the ecto cervix is the external os opening into the ecto cervix you have got the external os right now next important thing over here is you have got your endo cervix now what do you mean by endo cervix endo cervix is the proximal and the inner part of the cervix so here you can see anything which is going above this is called as a proximal right and the inner part of the cervix see this blue color portion over here is called as your endo cervix okay so this is the proximal and inner part of cervix proximal and inner part of the cervix right now what is the epithelium that you have over here this is called as simple columnar epithelium mucus secreting simple columnar epithelium Mucus secreting simple 
columnar epithelium the epithelium which we have over here is mucus secreting simple columnar epithelium now this endocervix right wherever the endocervix is ending that is the entry point for uterine cavity right you know this is your uterine cavity so wherever the endocervix is ending that is the point of the entry into the uterine cavity so there you have got an os and that os is called as internal os okay so endocervix ends this particular endocervix ends and uterine cavity will start and uterine cavity begins uterine and here the uterine cavity begins and it is called as internal os begins called internal os okay that is called as internal os now when you look at the functions when you look at the functions what are the different functions so the most important function you need to know regarding the cervix is that it allows the passage of sperms into the uterine cavity so here it allows the passage of sperms into the uterine cavity allow the passage of sperms into the uterine cavity so this is all you need to know regarding the cervix guys so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye